I pray full healing on his back right now. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. It's true. <laughs> I don't feel no pain. So what's up, guys? I'm here with, what's your name, brother? Eddie. I'm here with Eddie. So quick question, um, what does that mean to you? This, this is San Lazaro. This is the saint that has the dogs next to him. Um, they're saying that um, when he had, he had the crutches and his feet was um, all, how can I say it, messed up, the dogs came and started licking him and healed him. Yeah. I have a strong belief because I was raised with my mother. She had a lot of saints, but the good part. So like, so I used to, it's, it's, not, it's not coincidence, we just walked out and I seen you. So I used to deal with a lot of Santeria. I actually went to Haiti and done voodoo. I've, um, I seen Santeria in front of my face. What happened was I went down a path of money worship. I made a lot of money in Cali and I was doing a lot of things. I was very successful, but empty inside, very angry. I deal with a lot of anger and rage and lust and unforgiveness. And I had demons in my life, I actually seen them. I've seen them in my life. I've seen the actual spirits. I know you have too. You've literally seen them. Well, you talk about that, but my mother used to have saint parties. Yeah, the San Santeria uh, parties. Santeria, right, exactly. They used to come and his the Baba Lao. would get talk um, Dressed in white. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and then they were talking tongues. And they and get all that type of stuff. Yeah, they, they start talking in demonic tongues. Yeah. They get filled with demons. There's no good Santeria. It's all bad, bro. You know this. I tell you this. And you know, you know, I experienced. I've studied Islam, Buddhism, all that. But then I had an encounter with Jesus Christ, and He delivered me from demons. I didn't have to do no ritual, take no bath, have no altar. I used to have. I know what that is. And and um and and voodoo, they call it legba. And they, and, and Santa Dia, it's the same thing. I was dealing with Haitian voodoo spirits. They're stronger than the, the the Santa Dia spirits. And God freed me from all of them. He delivered me, set me free. I got married, have kids. I'm successful. Those spirits pass on generational, bro. You're a grandfather. Yeah, I got 28 grandkids. And and you and I'm gonna say this with all due respect, the kids be going through some things, bro. Well, I went through some things in my life. Yeah, they're going through some things, you know. It's generational, bro. And if yeah. you look at it, if you look at it, it's the same things you went through, your mother went through, and they're going through, and they're going through divorces, witchcraft, all types of stuff, bro. And I'm telling you, you could break the generational curse in your family. Do you have pain in your back? Yeah, I have an injury. What's the pain level right now, one through ten? Right now, it's like a four because I took medication. Okay, and if you, what's the furthest you could bend? Oh, I can't bend. Okay, just, I'm not, because I'm. I got two hundred this exploded and they're pinching my nose. What's gonna happen right now? And I've seen too many miracles, bro. Many hundreds. I'm gonna pray for you. I want you to first measure it before I pray for you, and it's gonna be the power of God to show you how much He loves you, and how serious this is. So I want you to measure it. And then after you measure it, I'm gonna pray for you again, and you measure it again, and you're gonna go lower. All right, I could, so I could, I could, I could withstand pain. But show, show me what's the lowest you can go. Right now, feeling pain. Yeah, right there. And that hurts. One through ten, like a. One through ten. Seven. Okay, seven. Y'all heard that? Yeah. And I won't even. I'm gonna show you how powerful the Holy Spirit is. It's not me. I won't even touch you. Watch this. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. I bind every unclean spirit, and I pray full healing on his back right now. I pray, Holy Spirit, you touch him right now in his soul. In his physical and his flesh right now on his back, full healing, no pain. All pain go to zero right now in Jesus' name. Yup, that was a shift right there. Try it. Yeah. It's true. It's true. <laughs> I don't feel no pain. <laughs> I got, yo, I got to go because we're going downtown. But so, what happened? Nah, it, it felt, uh, yo, I don't feel no pain. It's true. Hey, tell the camera. I, 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 are, you, is he, are you lying at all? No, I'm not lying. And I just met this man. What's your name? Rich. Rich. I'm a pastor now. Yeah. So let me pray. Let me pray one quick prayer for you. One quick prayer. Father God, in Jesus' name, I pray for my brother Eddie, right? I pray, Lord, that you bless him and his wife, his girl. Father God, I pray that you save his soul. I come against every unclean attack on his life. We cancel it. I pray angels surround him and they go to war for him. Father God, show him the truth in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Bro, you are loved Thank by you. God a lot. Jesus loves you, but he wants to show you the truth. You, Because the heaven and hell is real, bro. He died on the cross and he rose on the third day for your sins. You have no, to. I believe in all that. But you have to believe. repent. You have to change from the ways. All you got to do is add, just a lot. Do you have Instagram? Probably. No, Facebook? I had it, but I, I closed it for some person. Do you go on YouTube? 
Yeah, I go on YouTube a lot. Okay, First Love Church. First Love Church? But the first is 1ST though. Huh? One, like, you know how 1ST first? Yeah, not, not the one F. ST. Like 1ST Love, first yeah, yeah, church. Yeah. Look me up. I will, definitely. So you got, you got no yeah. pain, huh? Yeah. No. <laughs> God bless you, man.